The IG, represented by the Deputy Inspector General of Police in charge of training, Emmanuel Iyang, said the training will focus on human rights issues, including access to information and accountability, fast criminal justice process, rights of persons under detention, prevention of torture, gender issues, as well as use of force and firearms. They are very, very serious about the capacity development and training in training of uh, members of the police force in particular. Iyang urged officers and men of the police to practice what they have learned during the training. In his welcome address, the State Commissioner of Police, Zaki Ahmed, said the training came at the right time as it will help the force to have better conduct from policemen. Respecting the human rights, respecting the respecting of where they are, making sure that the suspects are well treated, are given attention, and there's no brutality. The relationship between us and the members of the public will improve. There will be that cordial relationship, understanding support from members of the public. Representatives of the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, Uju Agumo, and other stakeholders stressed the need to spread what is learned in the workshop and called on government to provide better welfare for police officers. Which basic uh, focus is to um, facilitate the mainstreaming of human rights into the police training and operations. So, uh, basically, what this means is we want to promote compliance on human rights issues for the entirety of the Nigerian police. I wish to state that in Bayelsa State, till today, there is no good functional barrack a state for many years. So this could be a transfer of an aggression on certain situations that we need to tackle. So there must be services. Thank you. Simplicity, love for ourselves, and reassuring the society of the dignity of your own job. The State Commissioner of Police assured changes in police activities while dealing with citizens and tasked the senior officers to train other junior officers in Rivers and Bayasa State. From Port Harcourt, Lukma Yusuf, Liberty News.